If Remy wins today, he also wins the overall series. And given his current form, I don't know who's going to stop him. Stage three is a 6.6K time trial with 350 meters of climbing, so super fast. It starts in the afternoon, so it's going to be a bit sunnier and there'll be a bit more refresh going into it. And they run two by two, starting every 30 seconds. Después de la segunda etapa, la verdad, que entre el calor que hizo y que la carrera súper rompe piernas, estaba destrozado. Fui al fisio la mañana, fui al fisio la tarde, fui al podólogo también. Y me desperté el día 3 súper jodida. Y dije, uff, encima una carrera rápida. A ver, expectativas por los suelos, yo qué sé. Yo decía, uff, el día que más he cansado he estado con diferencia. In this series, Sarah's had many ups, but mainly downs. She fell in Mont Blanc. She fell in Stranda. She opened up her leg in Flagstaff. And she opened up her head on stage two. But then the gods turned round and Sophia decided not to race. Elise decided not to race. And it's as if they've decided that she deserves second because of all those falls. She's the karma chameleon. So I moved up to seventh after stage one, and I think I dropped to ninth yesterday. Um, and yeah, I'll go back. That was another thing. It would be, I'm kind of all or nothing. If I had a chance at winning overall, I think I'd for sure do all of them. Um, but coming in kind of behind, it was like, all right, let's have fun with this. But but that doesn't mean I'm not watching the ranking. And a lot of things are happening too, like yesterday. There was a lot of jumble in finishes, and Sophia did not race at, as well. So, um, yeah, her and I are kind of have the same plan. And it's really neat to see everyone's different reasonings and plans and um, strategies. I think it's it adds a really cool dynamic. But yes, watching those standings bounce around, it's fun. <laughs> You must be kidding. Huh? You must be kidding. What is this? Yeah, it's my birthday. Happy birthday. birthday. Thanks. I really loved the course. Like, was was good weather, uh, flowy, uh, and then I just got really into it and I just went faster and faster. So I, I think it was just a very good race for me. It's not bad. It's very short. It's going to come very well to recover the body because at the end it's going to be a moment of pain and that's it. Pero yo, si fuera o sea, sinceramente, yo diría, pues venga, otros 30 hoy. Y mañana a los pues, 20 y pico y el siguiente día otros 30. Ahí, para jugar cuanto más kilómetros, mejor. Pero bueno, tiene que haber de todo. La balanza sigue abajo y arriba sigue lo que... O sea, está muy desequilibrada, pero tiene que haber de todo. Stage 3 es un poco más largo y más largo. Dos veces fue un start, pero yo fui con Petro Mamo. By sheer coincidence, the two most technically gifted runners on the series, Roy and Manu, were paired with the two fastest, Petru and Robert. Most people would look at that and think, oh, this is going to be awful, how humiliating. But actually, it's a huge opportunity. If you can strap in behind, they can be perfect pacemakers and end up helping you get a much faster time. So for the start, we start two by two, and uh, I will start with Thibaut because he has the second time overall. So it's quite good because uh, we know each other really well, so we can maybe pace each other a bit. The last two to start the time trial were Remy and Thibaut, the biggest bromance on the tour. I'm even a little bit jealous. They know each other through and through, and it gave them the opportunity to actually race hard and work with each other to get fast times.
Remy ran well today, but he didn't win, so he's still six points from the overall victory. When you think your name's already on the trophy, it's certainly true, you don't run quite as hard. Yeah, after the time trial, I think if I had won the race, it, I had won the, the circuit, so I have still to do one more, more race, but I think I have to do six points, so it's not that much. I think I can finish 30 and I win the circuit. So I have no pressure, but I, I will go all out on the for, for one. I want to win it, yeah. I woke up in the morning straight. I went to the physio and together we took a decision to skip stage four because still I had a problem with a walk. My knee looks better, but not that good to, to compete in that difficult race. Bart was hoping to race today, but again, his knee hasn't recovered. So let's just hope he can recover somehow tonight and have a good final race to this season. I am a 10 position and probably Petro Mamo, he can pass me. And I finally, I will finish 11. It's difficult to accept that. Después de la cuarta posición, me coloco segunda. Sofía es tercera, pero según ella no va a correr mañana. Entonces, bueno, pues me quedo a 90 puntos de Lise Poncet, a un buen margen para el podio. Ya si me lo dejan así, pues el, me puedo permitir hasta no correr el último día. Um, no, I came into this and I was going to have a rest day in between each, so I'm just going to race the last day. Yeah, um, Sophie and I kind of started to strategize a little together for the rest of the stage races right after stage three. And I think it was just like a team bonding thing. And then right away, both of us were so bummed to have not won. Um, and so we were very salty. <laughs> like, well, I think we're both like really great um, competitors and stuff, but we also, it, it affects us when we don't do what we want to do. And so we both um, were like, we gotta, we gotta get this win back. And so um, I think it was her idea. She's like, what if, what if I run tomorrow and you run Sunday and uh, we can both go for the win without like competing like against each other. We can both take on the whole crowd. So um, yeah, that's how that happened. Sophia and Ali actually got together and decided on a divide and conquer strategy. Sophia was gonna run day four Ali day five, knowing they wouldn't compete with each other, but would both be fresh to take on Ninka. Sabes quién está aquí, ¿no? Me dan la noticia de que Sofía decide correr y digo, mantén la segunda posición. Lo veo bastante improbable. When Sarah saw Sofia turn up on day four, not only was she thinking this is going to affect my points for today. But realistically, she's here for the overall title. And that means for Sara, second place was no longer on the cards. Unless something dramatic happens, she's down to third. She played it really well that she was not racing stage four. Even in the press conference, she was like, yeah, I'm not running. And, um, and, I, and part of me was like, wait, we just had this conversation. <laughs> but I was like, oh, hold on. She's probably playing the game. And then, uh, and then, I went to stage four and watched, and yeah, she showed up not far, not, not long before the start, and I was like, yes, it's game time. <laughs> stage four is 26.2K, but it's 1,900 meters of climbing split over two hills. It's also the most technical day, so we're really gonna see a big difference in those who can run technically and those who can't. ステージ 4 
salimos como siempre a todo lo que da la gente. Después de hacer el primer pico, me habían comentado que estaba la parte de la bajada más técnica del día. Una bajada muy cortita, muy poquito cacho, iba a tramos, aunque había sitios que de repente dejabas de ver el, el fondo y había unas escaleras superpuestas. Y había tramines muy, 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 muy divertidos. Y ahí conseguí pasar, pues igual del quinto o el sexto que llegué a ponerme en segundo y regular yo la bajada bastante cómodo para que al final intentar aprovechar esa pequeña frescura que llevase para atacarles. Ellison and Roy are now in the same situation that Sara and Elisa are in. Roy knows that if he wants to overtake Ellison, he has to beat him on the day, and if he does, he overtakes him in the overall competition. Well, today's goal is to beat him at the Mont Blanc Marathon. At the beginning, I was able to beat him at the end. At the end, I was able to beat him at the end. At the end, I was able to beat him at the end. At the end, I was able to beat him at the end. At the end, I was able to beat him at the end. Did I like the technical downhill? <laughs> I think you can guess the answer. <laughs> I didn't like it. Mm, maybe I got a little bit better after practicing for a few days. Um, and I think it was similar to um, part of the stage one downhill. So it was very slippery, stairs with rocks. So I, I really didn't want to fall here. And this was also the moment where Sofia overtook me. I knew that that was like my one thing that I could take advantage of, a, of and try to make a gap, but I fully anticipated her coming back. I knew that there was a really long climb and I've now gathered that she's just like untouchable on these massive uphills. And so I, yeah, I like when I passed her, I was like, try to make as much of a gap as you can. There was a sprint section at some point in the middle at which I wanted to go for. Um, And this was the moment where I catched up with her completely. And then I was behind her for a bit, and then at some point I overtook her. He llegado bien arriba, y luego había una bajada super complicada. O sea, si estuviese seco, a mí me da igual tirarme lo loco, pero cuando está mojado me me acojono mucho. Y bueno, sabiendo que tengo que acabar las dos carreras, tampoco era momento para tirarse a lo loco. Pero me he venido muy abajo porque en menos de dos tres minutos me han pasado cinco personas y por el paso de habituamiento iba a once, que yo hasta este momento en las Golden en ningún momento he estado fuera del top 10, entonces pues estaba un poco triste, la verdad. Era muy técnico, están muy, muy lejos. No, venga, venga, aprieta, no están tan lejos. Venga, vamos, vamos, muy bien. Pero ya nada más que vi cómo era la subida, dije, aquí va, nada más había contado más o menos los kilómetros, aquí van a ser tres kilómetros y medio que voy a sufrir como un perro porque es pisada fácil, subida potencia, y a mí eso yo estoy un pelín por debajo de ellos. Coming up the final hill, Thibaut and Elhacim were grouped together, and Roy was way back. But we know from Roy, when he starts slow, he doesn't end slow. So this is a good sign that the final downhill could be juicy. Overall ranking, the year ranking, there was Elhacim was my one behind the third place, and Thibaut was second. So if he was to win, he would be going to win the third. どうか抜かさないでくれとは思っていましたね。Roy was spanking down that last hill. He caught El Hussein, but then the race ended with an uphill that was long and hard. And El Hussein turned on the speed. They were neck and neck with each other, knowing whoever won today this battle also won the overall competition between the two of them. No, that's cool to like to win the circuit for the, the first time, and uh, also because I didn't start the season well with the Gamma Marathon du Mont Blanc and Cazinal, so it's the proof that uh, you never have to to give up because uh, it's never finish uh, before the finish line. <laughs> が、ま、多分おそらく今回ステージ 4を終えて 4番に
、まあ、彼が2つ下3つ下の順位じゃないと、まあ、逆転はないのでまあ本当そこはもう彼をマークして、えー、走りたいなと思います。Um, I didn't expect、uh, to get the overall win already at stage four, which is really nice the day before the final day to know nothing can happen anymore. And of course, I was super happy that I got another win in, in the final.、Um, yeah, so it was a very good day. Yeah, it was like the slowest finish of all time.、Um, <laughs> And in the moment, I was like, this is terrible, but I think it worked out very well for me to have like, an uphill finish. I was worried. We went down a bunch of stairs again, and I was just like, flashback to the very first day when Elise flew by me on the stairs. Like, up until the finish line, I was just like, praying, and it did work out this time. Comienza a subir con mi onceava posición y empiezo a pasar chicas y me voy encontrando mucho mejor y me coloco incluso octava. Ali wasn't racing on day four, but her headspace was already at the party. Tomorrow is going to be her birthday, so she got dressed up and started the race in full fancy dress gear. All week, I had been looking forward to stage five. And I think a lot of people were, because it's just, it's the end.、Um, granted, I was going in a little fresher. And as the week went on, I was like, OK, a y I, I want to blast Sunday. Oh, I did the warm up, but. Every step pain me a lot, especially when I run down and up. So I, I knew it, it wasn't possible to compete with others, especially because we had 17 kilometers down. Bart gave himself every chance he could to run today. He even turned up to do the warm up and only then decided that his knee wasn't ready. He's had such bad luck this season. Altitude. Overtraining, and now this. We've just got to hope that Bart has a better year next year because he's such a good runner. It was very hard for me to, to take that decision. After stage four, Nick has already won the overall title, so there's not a huge amount to motivate her in racing stage five. But when you visualize winning the Golden Trail series, You visualize running through that final finish with all the crowds. And that's why she's racing, because that's the finish that she wants. I think I'm gonna run because Thibaut is like close to, to go in the first place. And so if you wanna keep the, the first place, Uh, Elusin can't win the race. Like, if he wins tomorrow, Elusin, he will pass Thibaut. So maybe I will try to win to, to save third spot of Thibaut. If El Hussein wins today, he comes second in the overall series ahead of Thibaut. If El Hussein comes second, Thibaut needs to come fourth. So Remy, best friend of Thibaut, is actually going out to make sure El Hussein doesn't win, to give Thibaut the best chance of coming second just behind his best mate, Remy. まあ、スタート地点に、えー、着いた時には、まあ、今回、まあ、もう本当に前を狙うだけだなというふうに思っていたので、まあ、そんなにネガティブなことは思わず、まあ、すごいやる気満々で、えー、スタートしました。If Sophia wants to hold on to second place, she has to race day five. But the agreement between Sophia and Ali was that Sophia was running day four and only Ali was running day five. We,、um, we hadn't talked about it, but no, I, right when she finished, she was like,、oh, I feel good. I think I might run tomorrow.、Um, and I was like, Do it. Like, keep your place. Like, get the points. And then this morning, she explained, She's like, I'm not going to kill myself, but I do. Like, I'm going to enjoy this. And. 
and just try to keep her position which she did in the overall. If I have a preference, I would really prefer everybody runs the five days. I like it more if everybody is in the race um, rather than people are out. Um, but I knew Ellie was gonna be really fresh compared to me, for example. Which in the first place I thought, hmm, maybe I, I get a shot if I have uh, good legs. But then at some point when she took off, I was like, okay, she's, <laughs> she's going for it. <laughs> You pass me. <laughs> you could tell that Ninka was starting to get frustrated with the strategy of some of the other runners. She wanted people running every day, but they didn't have to. And that meant, as the races progressed, she was racing them again. They were rested, she wasn't. And she still wanted to win, knowing that they had an advantage. Bueno, nada más empezar a subir, empecé un paredón eso para arriba que estaba asfaltado y después seguir con escaleras, 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 un poco de verde, un poco de escaleras, 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 y así hasta el final. <ríe> Sabías más o menos lo que te quedaba para la vuelta y los últimos seis pues eran un poco a ver qué había. Y bueno, eh, correr, correr y correr. Es que no había otra, otra historia. Y bueno, ahí corto circuité totalmente mi cabeza, mis pies, mi cuerpo quería, pero mi cabeza decía que valía ya. ま、今日のコースの継承地のあたりを戻ってきた後の段を広げるぐらいで前にいる3人、ま、エリートの方で言うと、ケンボイ、ケンボイとかね、いるところを3人え、交わしていきました。それはすごいあの、気持ちよか
He's winning just for fun, and he doesn't even look like he's working that hard. He could probably race every day for the next year and still win against anyone in the world. He's that good right now. The last one, 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 the まあ、ゴールまで残り1キロでしたね、GPS では。ただ、あのゲートがどこに立ってるかも見えなかったし、実際にはどれぐらい残ってるんだろうっていうのが分からなかったので、どのタイミングでスパートかければいいのか分からなくて、うん、まあ、そうこうしてるうちに、エロジーヌが、えー、スパートかけて、で、後ろからペトロも来て、えー、なかなか、うん、まあ、もう僕の足も,もう売り切れていたって感じもあって。ついていくことはできませんでした。tuve vamos a decir espera a ver los treinta y tres mil seiscientos noventa y tres pasos que di el día de hoy los treinta y tres mil seiscientos noventa y tres he pensado de no volver de retirarme así que iba desde el inicio nada más que vi la historia y dije pues cada paso que daba era una lucha mental bueno no es que en la bajada bueno arriba llega el once pero no es que en la bajada no sé ni cómo llega a meta O sea, igual llegué 50 o 60. Estaba totalmente fuera. One of my favorite things about winning is coming through the finish line. And we didn't have a banner at the first stage. And so when I saw that banner up, I was like, yes. My win today got me ninth place in the overall, which、um, felt better than I thought. I was like, I don't really care, but I'm so glad I got top 10. I think、uh, if you take me back really before Segama, I was really nervous for this season of Golden Trail because I knew I, I hadn't beaten Maud、um, the year before. And then now I win the, the entire <laughs> series, which is really cool because I'm gonna be on the poster next year. <laughs> It's really fun to see Marlin and Sara finish together. They both live super close in the Basque Country, and Sara's been watching her form for a while. I think she knows that even though Marlin's 19, in the next few years, she could be her closest rival when it comes to Golden Trail and number one for Spain. She has a few years, she has 19 years, so she's coming fast, so she's going to be able to do it. I don't know, I think it's going to be a direct competition next year. In the end, these days we've been there. Al final, luego también por tiempo, se hemos estado a cinco minutos de diferencia. O sea que estará interesante el año que viene. I'm already looking forward to next year. I think I,、uh, I've thought about it multiple times this week, but、um, Golden Trail Series is the top trail priority right now. I have three weeks and then the first World Cup in Finland. So I'll be ready, sort of. Oh, God, I really hope my ski coaches don't see this.、Uh, just in case Sophia's coach is watching,、uh, we've made all this stuff up about her race. She actually slept in, so、uh, go easy on her. Make some noise for the 2022 Gold Trail!